man, this lady, I don't think she will gonna listen to this listen to this podcast, hopefully not. But she wound up, she wound up being a professor for Cornell. Um, she wound up telling me that um I think she was she her and her husband had two different uh religious beliefs, right? Wow. Um, so they were about to split. Man, bro, like she almost broke down in the car, right? Yeah. <laughs> almost broke down in the car. Mind you, it's 45 minutes, 90 minutes, yeah. 45 minutes down to an hour. So she just man, she's like, oh my God, young man, like, you know, um, she just kept it 100 with me. She's like, yo, when I first hopped in the vehicle, I didn't know what to expect, you know. Um, I want to apologize because I was, I like, I had kind of read you wrong. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I, I had one perception of you and like, Man, you you like the complete opposite, and um, we went on there. Man, this was like the biggest tip. She gave me like a hundred dollar tip. You know, what I mean? like invited me in. But I, when, when I say all that, um, to say like, yo, I could have fought against um, her calling the bias and be like, you know, and like, oh man, like, why should you mind? But man, listen, bro. Like, once you understand psychology, once you understand people, you can work with who a person is, uh, and you can really like. You can you can work with the with the brain to to open up people's uh, minds. So like psychology is major, role, marketing, all that stuff is major. So I know you can implement it in your business, and then, uh, you know yeah. what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the last the last trick, bro, we are gonna get up out of here. No, nah, I'll give them all. Is um, uh, FOMO is real. Oh, <laughs> yeah. FOMO is real, bro. So um, people. I, I like to call it eth- ethical FOMO. Okay. Um, that's what I use, right? I know a lot of other marketers, they use unethical forms of FOMO. And what I mean by that is they'll say, hey, look, uh, I'm closing the cart at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock hit. Oh, man, never mind. I'm closing the cart tomorrow at 10 o'clock. You yeah, me? I feel like that's uh, to me. You feel me? It works. Don't get me wrong. It works. definitely works. Yeah. yeah, it works. But I like to do it where it's like, yo, um, instead of closing the cart, you could say closing the cart or like, yo, bro, I got ten spots left, right? I got ten spots left. But you, if you if you really have ten spots left, you can take a screenshot of that and then put it out there. Mm-hmm. That's ethical. Now, if those ten spots fill up, and then you forget to close the cart and let five more people in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, I legitimately, you know what I mean? But there's some form of like, all right, cool. But, um, but that, that works. But, uh, but I like to use FOMO sparingly because we all know, like, who does this? Um, well, I don't want to shout out names, but some people like, yo, I'm doing 90% off for mm-hmm. the day only, right? Mm-hmm. And then tomorrow they be like, Yo, I'm doing ninety percent off for the day only. You like, yo, I thought you said you was doing ninety percent off just for yesterday only. <laughs> but it works though, so I'm not gonna knock my hustle. It works, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's just like, how can you use it ethically? Um, conscious capitalism is one thing like, um, that has slowly been like kind of seeping into into my brain because I like to run it up. But it's still like, how can I consciously be aware? Like, yo. Cause some of these tactics, bro, like if they get into the wrong hands, these are the same tactics that charlatans use to like drain people, right? Mm-hmm. These are the same tactics that um, what's the guy that ran a head that, that ran a fake hedge fund, um, Bernie Madoff. Okay, you you know what I'm talking about? I I, I know the name, but I I, I didn't know about the every yeah he, he ran like a Ponzi scheme, so Madoff mm-hmm. like. All these marketing tactics come to buy like you can use them, you legitimately can use them for good or you can use them for evil. Um, because once you understand like how to make a person buy, people people naturally want what they can't have. Yeah. Right. So a uh, FOMO is a form of, of giving by somebody something and then taking it away. Right? Like, yo, I'm giving you this opportunity, but I'm taking it away. So naturally, you feel me like people won't come to it. So like it's just Bro, it's natural. You know what I mean? It's just certain things that the brain is we've been trained to do. Like once you start implementing them, um, it, it's going to produce income. 
Yeah. But is it going to produce impact? And that's where um, I want to really start taking my business to where it's like impactful. Like, it's one thing to be rich, but it's another thing to be rich. And you have people that say, yo, like, Mike changed my life. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And, and instead of I pay Mike, he's rich, but I'm, I have not, I didn't get a transformation. So. Yeah, no, that's definitely not part of the goal. I ain't gonna hold you. I'll be running up that FOMO. One more spot, one more spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 I, I get it, bro. Like, I'm not, I wasn't saying that to, to, to not you. I'm no, just no, saying, no, like, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, I get it. I, I get it. I've been there. I've been there. I've, I've done it. Yeah, everybody, it works. Like, don't get me wrong, bro. It definitely it do works, work. right? It definitely, definitely it's also a form of social proof. Yeah. Yeah. You no, know what no, I mean? It works, yeah. like. Yeah. It, it works like gangbusters, bro. If you ever have a launch, you'll notice that the most money is going to come on day one mm. and then the last day of your launch. Why? Because FOMO kicks in, and that's a, that's strong. Mm. You know what I mean? But um, it's just about how do you how do you do how do you use it without yeah. overusing it, right? Right. Because then you can also bring your audience out. Like, all right, I know he about to do this. I know you know what I mean. Because then you can also train your audience to work against you, dude. Like. Man, that drink will be ninety percent off next week too. So yeah. I wait. <laughs> For real, you know what I mean? Because that's what you yeah. don't want. Because then, yeah, you, definitely. Then you can't control your income. Because just yeah. like, yo, all right, well, you know what I mean. So one one thing, um, a great marketer told me is if you train people how to pay you, mm. you feel me? Like you train people how to pay you, mm-hmm. and um, if you train people to realize, like, he always going to have one more spot left. And it's like, okay, I pay him late. I pay him next week. Or I pay him when he opened up that next spot. You feel me? Like, it's no urgency factor in it, right? So if you can combine FOMO and urgency ethically, you can control, like, boom, I got a spike. And it's just, yeah. Um, so, but yeah, bro, I don't want to take up all your time, man. No, I no, you're good, man. you get good. So before, <laughs> before we get into the final round and wrap up, well, yeah. um, you're doing all the marketing funnels, things like that. Do you see yourself going in the same lane years from now? Like, where do you see yourself in like five years, bro? Um, so just like anybody else, like right now, I'm a solopreneur, so I do have struggles. And um, the biggest struggle I face is because I don't, like, I have, I really don't have a team, right? It's me. I have a virtual assistant that creates my content, mm-hmm. um, and I like. I never really wanted a funnel agency. Mm-hmm. Um, so to be honest, I'm really transitioning. It's three areas that I really want to focus on. One is options trading, right? Okay. Like, I feel like if I can master the skill of options. When? Then it's like, yeah, when, when. Where's the power? When, <laughs> when, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when I master the skill, yeah. um, then I can create income like on demand. Mm-hmm. But also like the game, the marketing game has been so well, so good to me, bro. Mm-hmm. I never lead a game. So what I, what I, it's two areas that I also notice that a lot of people start as they mature in the game, they start focusing on one is software, right? So just like connectedly, yeah. um, that's the software that's, you know what I mean? Um, so what's connectedly, like, what's connectedly for the people? Gosh, so like, connectedly, yeah. connectedly is, is pretty much a, um, a all-in-one software that allows you to build funnels. It allows you to um, do email, text messages, everything that a solo from one pretty much needs. And this is, I don't get no affiliate deal from Connectly, but, um, you know, what they did was was pretty, was excellent, right? Like, they found a problem in the game, especially um, the price point. They solved it, right? And that's yeah. what that's what business is about, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and it's perfect. You got your emails, you got your text. If you're a solopreneur, small business, and you like, yo, can I find a cost-effective way to really get like an overview of my business? That's it, right? Um, so uh, one thing I don't have in my business that all businesses really should have is recurring revenue, right? I got some affiliate stuff, but um, but I definitely am looking to go like that that software route, whether it's white label on um, a platform, but pretty much fill out a niche and then serve that audience so that way I can get my residuals um, up to 50 to 100K a month. And then um, 